Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, aka Lily Works, and I am a full-time stay-at-home mom and a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, Etsy, and Facebook Marketplace. And this week we have entered the <clears throat> place of taking all the lowball offers. <sighs> oh, yes, so come and ship orders with me. We have 14-ish orders going out, which is so not where we want to be right now. So yeah, let's go get some orders. Alright, so we are starting off with the jewelry, and we only have, what, six orders going out. I actually didn't sell anything on Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, or Etsy, so I only sold things on Poshmark and eBay this weekend. Um, so, yeah, but I also haven't listed anything this weekend. We had my three-year-old's birthday party. Um, this weekend and so that was pretty busy and crazy and yeah so I'm hoping to get back to listing today and so yeah this is a really pretty um, Liz Claiborne brooch I got this in a brooch lot from shop Goodwill for less than a dollar it has these green stones and blue stones which is um, a little bit different than your typical brooch and this sold for $15 on Poshmark, making my earnings 12. This did not have a brand, but it totally is giving me Brutalist Chico's vibes. I believe these are stone. They are, they do feel cold. Um, and then like a leather cord. This uh, did sell for $16 on eBay. And I got that from a Shop Goodwill lot for less than a dollar. These earrings, let me tell you, these earrings got so much attention on all the platforms. They are just these lightweight, almost like cardboard feeling Luna Moth earrings that I got in a Shop Goodwill lot. They um, were, they had like 10 likes or so on Mercari, like right away and Poshmark and they finally sold on eBay for $7.99 and the reason I believe that these got so much attention is because I put keywords like oddities and like mystical and fairy and just a lot of different keywords instead of just describing lightweight moth luna moth earrings. Um, when you Google Lens these, these are actually made by an Etsy seller and I believe the Etsy seller sells these for $5.00. And I was like, I'm not selling them for $5. I, I sold them for $7.99. So that was nice. And then next we have this like pave tassel necklace. This does not have uh, a brand either. But if you know you can use a lot of nice keywords that people are looking up, then don't be afraid to sell it. This sold for $10 on eBay. I paid less than a dollar in a shop Goodwill lot. This one definitely got a lot of attention because of the keywords that I used. Again, this does not have a maker's mark or brand, and I use the keyword Egyptian Revival because that's kind of what it looks like to me. It's like a collar bib necklace type um, thing with matte gold, and then this just totally makes me think of like uh, ancient Egypt so that's how I described it and I got a lot of attention on this and it sold for $17.99 I paid $3.48 shipping making my earnings $14.51 and I got this one in a shop goodwill lot and I had to run upstairs for this because I just listed it upstairs it is this little articulated um cat with rhinestone eyes. It sold for $15 on Poshmark, making my earnings 12. 
got this in a shop goodwill lot and i do not think it has a maker and yeah it's tail move Okay, so fortunately I did have one sale on Mercari that just came in. It's these daisy earrings. Show you these real quick. That's what they look like. I just listed these. They're a hoop with a daisy on them. Sold for $13. I paid $3.48 shipping, making my earnings $9.52. Not too bad from a Shop Goodwill lot, no brand pair of earrings. So I will put my earnings for jewelry up on the screen and let's go ahead and get some shoes. We only have three pairs of shoes going out. Oh my gosh, this is a pitiful, pitiful weekend for me. All right, let's find these A2 coral wedges. These have been listed for a little bit. Um, let's see, here's some coral wedges, but that is not it what are these huh. oh these are michael kors um let me see here they are let's grab these these sold for $19.99 on ebay which is my price that i like to price all my aerosols at and i pay about two dollars for these at the bins i don't typically pick these up anywhere but the bins just because the price is much better at the bins for aerosols and yeah this is one of my bread and butter brands and the buyer paid shipping let's go get these Riker shoes and then some camper heels now I'm putting that um, I think these were $17.99 but when I noticed that um, buyer paid like $15 and I put these as a 20% off in the 20% off sale. And it's because they don't have insoles. And so I was hoping that these would move. But when I go to look at what these sold for, it's showing me $17.99. So I think it might have sold for less than $17.99. I'm glad they're gone. These have been sitting, they're a smaller size, didn't have insoles. They're in pretty good condition. I do like selling that brand Riker. But yeah, it had some things not going for it. Pick them up at the bins for $2. Lastly, we're gonna get these camper heels. I did just get a new phone. So I'm recording with a new phone and I'm noticing it's not focusing as well as my last phone. So I'm gonna have to get used to this. It's definitely a bigger phone to hold as well. Here they are right there in the light so i just picked these up actually not too long ago in a haul video um i pick up camper often and these sold for 25 dollars on ebay i picked them up for 4.99 just clean them up and yeah i will put my profit for all my shoes up on the screen and then i will go grab some belts hat and hats okay we have three belts going out today this Cipriani belt, it's an Italian leather belt, women's belt, and um, some fuzz. This sold for $19.99 um, on eBay, the buyer paid shipping, and I picked this up at the bins for less than 50 cents. This was a Joseph A. Bank belt. I took a low offer of $12 on pop excuse me on Poshmark making my earnings 905 I picked these this one up at the bins I believe for um, less than 50 cents and then lastly this one I picked up at the bins for less than 50 cents it is American Eagle sold it for 15 on Poshmark making my earnings 12 and yeah I love selling American Eagle belts <clears throat> and then I have two hats actually going out no scarves no purses no wallets no perfume no hard goods i think this is my hard goods section right there it's very small um so we're looking for an adventure oh ooh, ooh, i see the swim cap so adventure hat and swim cap so this is my big sale actually so i will share that with you guys and then another hat that I picked up 
at the bins. It's like a straw hat. Is it in here? No. So I, this is all my hats in this section. It should be here. All right, let me see if I can find it. Okay, I cannot find this hat and I checked all of my platforms to see if I sold it and I didn't. So it's this um, straw adventure hat. I'll put it up on the screen. It sold for $25 um, on eBay and I paid $8.85 shipping, making my earnings $16.15. Picked it up at the bins a while ago. The only thing I can think of right off the top of my head is like my kids were playing farmer. I remember at one point they had a hat and they were playing farmer. Um, but I don't know where that hat would be and I'm usually very organized. <laughs> so I'm like having nervous laughter right now because I do not know where it'd be. I'm going to look through the hats again, look around my workroom. Um, and then if I can't find it, I'm going to have to message the buyer. So I will let you know if I find it. So oh, that's very frustrating. Okay. Anyways, this swim cap I got from the antique store for $16. You can see it is very fragile and I definitely put that in my listing. It is from the 1960s. It is a Kleinhart, Kleinerts swim cap. One of those like swim dancer, um, I don't know, what are they called? Uh, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Um, the fancy swim cap. And this I'm going to delic delicately uh, wrap up and send on its way. It sold for $79.99 full price. And then I paid $16. I'm glad I have that one. But I am definitely going to have to look for that hat. Because my hat section is like right all right here. So yeah, let me just... Go look again. I will put my earnings up on the screen for hats and belt. And yeah, I will be right back. All right, I am still looking for that hat. I will let you know if I find it. I'm really crossing my fingers that I find it. I looked through all the hats again, nothing. So I will let you know if I find it and include it in the total. I actually just sold one more belt right now as I'm packaging. We'll put that one up on the screen. I know I have this one. I kind of recently just listed, listed it. It sold for $18 and I picked it up, I believe, either at the bins for 50 cents or at the regular Goodwill for a dollar. So, shoo, if you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next week. Thanks. Bye.